Enjoying your trip down memory lane? Not really. Most of what I need won't be invented for decades. Yes. Try to hobble your genius with archaic technology. You're in a mood. Yes, I am. The Ripper case. Yes. Please don't. But you have been through all this before. For God's sake, you could save lives. You both know I can't interfere. spring Hill Jack, the sanctuary's newest resident. I wish I could have told you earlier. Well, all that matters is that the streets of London are safe again. As they should be. Do you miss it? London? Oh, it's still very much there where I come from. I was thinking more of this era. Right on the cusp of the 20th century. Honestly? <laughs> no, I can hardly blame you. I seem like the Dark Ages compared with where you're from. Well, when I left, things were far from rosy, believe me. Even if we have managed to set my timeline right, which would be a bloody miracle, I still left a hell of a mess to clean up in my present. The swearing is acceptable in the future, is it? If the moment fits, you bet your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I never meant to burden you, James. Oh, I know it's the hormones, but I'm so into this. <laughs> Henry, the girlfriend's cute and all when she's not biting people's heads off, but maybe you want to wait and do the wild thing on your own time. I'll go wherever you lead me on rivers of roses and I'll follow That sounds nice. Oh, it's a song my father used to sing to me after he returned from his time in America in the 1900s. He used to call them spirituals. I always found it company. OK, Berlioz well, through Verdi. You sure you don't want these on an MP3 or a WAV file? Certainly not. Ah, why would you, being the queen of analog? I'm proud of it. Progress? Of sorts. The fact that the creature prevented Abby from killing herself is very intriguing. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. I'd say we're damn lucky. You see, most parasites simply abandon their hosts when they become compromised or die. This one protected her, which indicates some sort of symbiotic relationship. The key is her response to music. Look at this. Coma patients. Asleep for decades, suddenly waking up when a particular section of an opera or symphony is performed. And this. Children who suddenly display heightened mental powers when certain melodies or cadences are performed. Music unlocks parts of our brain that we didn't even know exist. Lady Gaga. Hmm? I uh, agree with you. Put that on. Sure. Oh, sweet. In his journal, my father claims that one of his patients began being able to read people's thoughts, but only when that exact piece of music was being played. The harmonies were in sync with his own oral vibrational patterns. If we keep allowing Abby to sing to us, that might help her remain human. But think of it like a, a language that's keeping her psyche grounded. Yo. Yeah, we're in the library. Oh, crap. OK. Doc, it's Declan. The heads of house conference call started 10 minutes ago. Oh, bloody hell, I completely forgot. To Helen, who helped us find our Joshua tree, love Bono? No way.
Agent Culver. Is everything all right? Oh, you betcha. How is she? Honestly, I don't know. But we've lots of road left, so chin up. Look, why don't you go to the kitchen? Help yourself to whatever you like. I think there's a nice pot roast in there that Henry made a few days ago. Or, or use one of the guest rooms if you need to rest. That's very kind. But I think I'm just gonna sit here and not touch anything. Agent Culver. Gavin. Gavin. None of this is your fault. No one could have known what you and Abby were actually walking into. Again, it's very kind, but I completely disagree. You would have, Will, Henry, for sure, would have totally sensed something. Me, I, I didn't even know there were superpowered creatures roaming the earth until two months ago, let alone insurgents. Henry's right. I'm a by-the-book kind of guy, and that simply does not work in the world of abnormals. You sound rather like me when I started out. When my father handed me the mantle to his life's work, the original sanctuary, I wanted to do it very differently from him. Create stricter protocols, more definitive guidelines for how we do everything. And how'd that work for you? Horribly. Because in order to do anything well, you have to trust your instincts completely. I learned that making a decision you regret is far better than the alternative. Which is? To do nothing. That is the worst crime of all. I believe Will put it best from some sports film he loves so much. Don't think meat, just pitch. <laughs> I really have to get back to work. But do try the pot roast. It's quite good. <sighs> Dopamine's wearing off. You're showing signs of withdrawal. Pale skin, reduced energy. So all of that was to keep you moving. Yeah, if you want someone to push your buttons, bring a shrink who knows your secrets. I really think you know me. Four years out of nearly 300. You're on the downward spiral. Your judgment's impaired. You have to let me take the reins. You want to be in charge? Go ahead. You have no idea what it really means. I deal with things you can't even imagine. <sighs> Ever since your seclusion on the mountaintop, I know you've come back with secrets. I know you'd be damned if you let me in. Come on, Rebecca, you move. Come on. In case I don't get a chance to say it later. Well. Thank you. Changing my life for the better. You're high as a kite right now. No, I have clarity. I mean, everybody has days where they hate their job, where the sacrifices seem like they're too much. Some more than others. Um, remember that psych worm that trapped us in that fake reality? It was a very long time ago for me. Not for me. I remember every single detail. A normal life with Abby. Baby on the way. And here's the thing, I want that someday. Door is always open. No, no, I, I want both the work we do and something to keep me grounded. Be careful what you wish for. Did you try to find balance? You know, Ashley. See how that turned out? You'd do it again, wouldn't you? I have the life I want, Will. If I didn't, I wouldn't have come back. Believe me, I had plenty of time to figure that out. What do you want now? More of the same for the rest of your very long life? No. I assure you.
Hey, kiddo. Me again. So the power pack is a total loss. But the breakers did their job. That's just, just a little burnt. And Ray? Hey, Doc. Uh, you're back. So, what did you bring me? A big feathered serpent and what happened to you? Oh, you know, the usual. Should I ask? Yeah, it was supposed to be a surprise. Um, I'm having a power issue. I need more per square inch than is available on the market. Or off. Well, then, try this. You might want to stand back. Wow! And without heat or toxic discharge. What kind of radiation is this thing putting up? Perfectly safe, I assure you. Just, um, don't get it wet. Come to Papa. Come again? You heard me. Yeah, I thought I heard you. But then it sounded like you said that Will was going to go work for Addison and you and I were going to break some hollow earth abnormals out of a high security SKU detention facility. That's right. What happened to the pacifist revolution? It begins once we free the poets and the thinkers. With bullets and stunners. I, I realize this won't be a cakewalk, but remember, we do have a secret weapon. It's, uh, how dry I am. <clears throat> Nicola? Hey! How dry I am. Not. I thought, I th I thought you couldn't get drunk. I, I couldn't until I did this. That, my dear, is my latest triumph. Do you want some? <laughs> what have you done? No. Oh, merely discovered that. How did I do it? Um, by inverting the nitrogen molecules in the vino and then distilling it through a reverse osmosis silica filter. And then by adding a crap load of tequila. You can get completely pie-eyed. How dry I am. All right, Nicola. Snap out of it, please, really. We need your help. <sighs> Even in my inebriated state, I think your plan is certifiably wacko. But this is your chance to stick it back to those skew bastards. No, thank you. Not even a band of wild horses could drag me back to that viper's den of thieves and iniquities. Where's my umbrella? I thought my glass had a pretty little umbrella. This is hopeless. It was red. I mean pink. Or something. And I'm on my own. How? Dry I am. Ah, oh, thanks. Surprisingly quiet. Yeah, well, it is prison. Lockdown. Caleb's been assuring everyone that they're in no immediate danger, and he's working on finding a diplomatic solution, which is why you're here, I'm assuming. If you can call it that. It's more like to offer an apology. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. How bad? The place is a powder keg. There's talk of storming the walls and engaging with soldiers outside, a mass escape. Caleb is barely keeping people calm. It's not an unreasonable reaction. They didn't come here to be incarcerated. My point is, you and Caleb need to find a solution fast. Otherwise, this place will explode. Powder keg? It's comforting. Thank you. <clears throat> you coming? And we are in. Destination? Good question. Henry would have scrubbed anything connected to Magnus in the database. It would help if we knew what we were looking for. Whatever Magnus is doing, it's obviously she felt she couldn't trust me with the information. Four years of working together, you think she'd let me in. Or maybe she didn't want to put you in a compromised position, knowing Addison had the power to press you into service at any moment. Or 
It's something she's been keeping secret for a very long time. And one year out of a hundred wouldn't make a difference. Wait, sorry. One year. <sighs> okay, this... This might blow your mind a little bit, but, um... <clears throat> Magnus is older than you might think. 161, I know. She's friends with Sherlock Holmes, H.G. Wells. She and I had wine one night. <laughs> well, maybe not enough. Do you remember last year when Magnus went to Hollow Earth to track Adam Worth? Mm -hmm. Well, something happened there, something freaky. Worth created this machine using Praxian tech that opened up a window in time, back to 1898 London. <laughs> Come on. Magnus followed him there and dealt with him, and then... <sighs> Wait, and then? She waited until a year ago when she resurfaced just after she left. She just waited? Yeah, on a mountaintop in Nepal. So she wouldn't screw up the timeline of our present. I know, the, the whole thing just gives you an ice cream headache thinking about it. So, so she's actually 274. 113 years of seclusion. It's a lot of time to make plans. You're thinking her seclusion wasn't so secluded. This is Magnus we're talking about. You think she just sat in her hands for a century? Not a chance. Look, uh, we need to go back. Mm -hmm. Let's find the earliest records we can find. I guarantee you that was a working vacation. I think I can see how a subsonic relay could trigger commands in the other nodes, but as to how all the EM fields would match up. Yeah, that's your cue to, you know, help out. The subsonics can be modified so that all the nodes fall into the same pattern. It was supposed to be a maintenance feature. Yeah, well, E equals MC squared wasn't supposed to help make the atom bomb, now was it? You think this is about my ego? I have seen genocide, Henry, many times. Armenia, Poland, Serbia, mass graves, death squads, and for what? Religion, ideology, race. You take a life, it's murder. You kill hundreds, thousands, millions, it's a political action made by someone who believes his cause is noble and just. And then the tide turns, and the world cries out in horror. How could this have happened? Oh, the inhumanity. And then it happens again, and again, and again. And you wonder why I hate people. Yes, the last transfer is in your account. There's even some extra in case of any incidentals. Now, I do realize that the timeline was sped up, but I did warn that this might happen when we first started. Oh, right, that was your father. I'd forgotten. Um, my condolences again. Yeah, I do appreciate your discretion. My best to your family. Maybe it's my own self-loathing, but I, I'm not insulted, Helen. Shouldn't you be in the lab? <sighs> Yes. Henry and I are getting very close to finding a way to remotely disrupt the death nodes, as he calls them. Accurate title. But I'm finding it hard to work with the distractions. Such as guilt? How about lies? Come on, Helen, you can hide it from the kids, but me? I know you too well, Mrs. Robinson. Go back to work, Nicola. I will, if you tell me what you're up to. I've no idea what you're blathering on about. Secret phone calls, shutting down sanctuaries, Wall Street. Come on, Helen. Let me in. To what? My classified book of the month club? <sighs> yeah, I've been trying to figure it out ever since I sobered up. And it all seems to come down to New York 1901, the same year that fascist J.P. Morgan ran me off Long Island on a rail. You took him for three million dollars and built a radio tower to talk to aliens. Which worked, thank you very much. Regardless, when you came to me, Asking about the controlled use of nitroglycerin, our target was a Peruvian deep water cave. Now, I thought that I was helping you capture some useless multi-headed shark. 
and... You lied to me. According to the Praxian database, that cave leads to an arterial pathway to hollow earth. Now, how could I possibly have known that? We only discovered hollow earth last year. The rest of us, yes, but you've known about it for 113 years, so I'm wondering... If the Helen Magnus who wined and dined me at Hotel Miraflores in 1902 was you? Or the other you? Oh, Nicola. You're the genius. You figure it out.